Hey, what's going on YouTube? Dave back again. And today we're going to be taking a look at this guy. So this is a microphone boom arm that I ended up picking up because I have several cheap newer ones and they just won't fit the purpose that I need. I do have a good Rode PSA one, but it's they're just too expensive to get a second one. And I use it upstairs for my streaming desk. So I found this one on Amazon and I went, you know what, for the price and everything that comes in it, I'll give this a shot. What I'm planning on doing is with the new studio set up, welcome, welcome. Uh, I plan on attaching it to the rack that is over here and then going overhead so that I can have shotgun microphone just out of camera right about here so that uh, I get nice clean audio from it instead of using the lavalier mic and I can easily just swing it up out of the way so wifey doesn't try to kill me. So what I am going to do is we're going to unbox this. We're going to take a look at it. I'm going to give you my thoughts on it and then I'm going to show you the newer style, uh, not newer like brand newer. I mean newer as in the brand in E E W E R uh, and compare them. And uh, trust me, this one's going to be a lot better than that one and it's about the same price. And everything that comes in here, yeah. So without further ado, let's jump down to the table. Let me show you what comes in the box. All right, so here we are down to the table with the T20 Studio Boom Arm from Toner. It does come with a two year warranty. I like things that come with warranty. Uh, not a whole lot going on the box. You do get a serial number and support, website, all of that good stuff, but that's not what we're here for. Let's crack this open pulling open the lid. Now, the first thing you're granted with in here is a nice pop filter. I do have to say, uh, this is pretty nice. I have checked prices on Amazon and a couple different places for these, and these usually run somewhere around 15, $17. Not a whole lot, but for the price that of everything, which I think is around 32, $35, somewhere in there, I will put a link down below to check this out and for pricing and info. But yeah, everything, if you combine everything that comes in this package, you're looking at closer to $60, $70 if you separate everything out. But yeah, so you get this, you get the two year warranty card, you get an instruction manual, easy peasy, nothing too difficult about it. You get a nice fuzzy. If yours ends up being like this, you get it out of the package, just hit it with a hairdryer and that'll actually pop right out the little crunching of the foam. But yeah, so you get a foam for pretty much any microphone. I'm going to use this for my secondary microphone. We're going to open up this little flap. You get some uh, Velcro ties. Can't have enough of those. You do get an attachment if you have a standard microphone. You get an adapter between the setting for like a actual mic stand and the boom arm itself. So it's nice that you get that adapter. Popping open this side. Yes, this is a box full of goodies. You actually get the mount itself. And I have to say next to the Rode PS1, this is probably the next best one. Um, the only issue that I did have, and it's not really going to be an issue, but if it was a suggestion to them, I would almost probably leave off this lip because some people, if they have something really wide that they're attaching it to, that might actually be a hindrance. But other than that, most people are going to be attaching this to a desk or something like that and not be an issue. But you have a nice range of motion and this pretty much goes all the way down. Some that I've ended up having, like it has a half to three quarters of an inch gap in there. And sometimes like my table that's upstairs, the glass table, I actually have to put wood on there uh, just to be able to hold it. So yeah, great mount on here. Get this out of here. Sliding this out. We don't need this anymore. Getting the plastic baggie off. And it's kind of stuck, it sticks on everything. And you do get a little caution on here because this will kind of pop open. So get that out of here. So, and this is what the microphone arm looks like when it's all compacted down. And I'd like that it leaves a small footprint. Almost none of my other microphone stands will actually compact down to this small. And that's why I ended up picking this up because I was impressed by that. Most of the others, the most you can fold it down is about that far. And with this one, I can extend it almost all the way where the others, again, with most of the others, you can only extend it out about that far. You do have tightening knobs up here, and that's going to be to tighten and loosen that grip. Uh, some people, 
and even myself upstairs uh, have it set so that it's it'll hold the microphone but it's not too bad uh, the rode ps1 you actually have to have a microphone that is a good weight to be able to hold the microphone down otherwise this arm just shoots right up now if these are too tight or too loose you do have adjustment holes on here to be able to move this these pins up and down you have an adjustment knob here to be able to adjust this this seems to be on a ball bearing so it free floats but once you tighten it down it locks that down as well. Some microphones will have the hole on the bottom side. I think it's three quarters inch for the actual microphone stands where this, you don't really need it. And I'm actually looking at this and this actually comes with a plastic version of that. So if you need an extra one, which I think I do, uh, you can always rob this one from here. I don't know anybody that uses standard microphones. But this is going to work great. Uh, the bottom of my Rode microphone actually has this size connection on there. So I'll be able to screw this directly onto there and be able to use this. And before I go any further, I do have to apologize because this is the first time filming on the new setup here. So let me know what you think down below. Now you would notice there's a second arm on here. And that's because this is the newer, this is the toner you can see the difference in the brackets between the newer and the toner. These, I've had a couple of these actually break, and usually what ends up breaking are the welds that are right here. Those actually end up breaking. Where with the toner, I'm not even worried about that ever breaking. You can see the difference, both the quality of the stock and the size of the stock of the tubing that is on the toner is almost double the size of what's on the newer. The newers, these pegs that the springs go onto, are all plastic except for these right up here and I can't tell you how many times I've had one of these break off and shoot a spring across the room and almost break something very irritating so what I'm going to do I'm going to set this up on a dummy board we're going to come back up to FaceTime and I'll show you what it looks like on air that way and then we're going to close out this video all right boys and girls so here we are back at the tabletop and yes I know you can't really see it because in my brilliance, I set up a dark background and I don't actually have a hair light or a light back here to differentiate this between the background. But if you're trying to go for that minimalist look, this will actually end up doing it. Uh, I have a little light over here to try and give it a little more, little more color so that you guys can see it. And I had to kind of figure out, I used a cutting board on the table because the table is glass and I haven't tested this table out really well yet just to see the quality and how the, how tempered the glass is. It's, it's kind of thin, so I'm not going to push my luck with that. Um, but I haven't loosened this up. It is nice and fully adjustable, easily spins around. One of the nice things you don't have to worry about, same as with the road, uh, you don't have to worry about tightening this down. It does adjust up and down easily. You can get a nice flex out of it, both back if you're wanting to push it out of your way. You can even lift up the arm to get it completely out of the way, which is what I end up doing with the one that's upstairs. It still ends up being in the way, but you can get it out of the way. It comes with a lot of accessories. This, if you need it for regular standard microphones, you get the two year warranty. You get a pop filter, which can be mounted onto here. I don't really end up using one. You get the little ball sack, which I did end up using these a lot. Uh, and you get some Velcro ties for like your XLR cables or whatever cables that you're using for this. Um, like I said, what I'm gonna end up doing is mounting this onto this rack over here for an overhead uh, boom mic. So once I get that all set up and the, this whole studio area lit up and, and figured out, uh, I will show you guys how that ends up working out. But yeah, I am highly impressed. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're so inclined. I much appreciate it. Um, but this has been the review of the Tonar T20. There will be a link down below. And there'll be links to a couple of others because they actually have a USB uh, desk mic set up. And then another one that I think if I saw correctly, it comes with a microphone, USB microphone and stuff, which I was actually impressed with the price on that. I think it was like $64, $84, something like that. And it's the microphone arm, the USB cable, the USB mic, the suspension uh, head, everything on there. Um, they make some good quality products. They actually make microphones and stuff like that too. So thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys all in the next video. As usual, YouTube, peace out. Mm -hmm.